interesting. A floating target? This would require coordination, balance and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. What is up guys, gals, minions, this is me Noah Proxy and as you can see here we are playing Thomas Was Alone, basically like an, an adventure platforming game based on the story of Free Shapes, or even more, I'm sure I saw some small squares on the um, the XMB kind of interface, so it's getting quite interesting, I really love the whole story thing around it, how basically they all have different personalities and stuff, but anyway, let's continue onwards with this kind of little puzzle thing, as I said, I'm not going to talk between all these kind of things, I'm going to let you guys enjoy them and stuff, it's like the music and stuff adds immersion to it, and you kind of, you can like picture your own kind of little story or what they're chatting about and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Mint, I'll still let you guys enjoy this. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. But eventually, she was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers! She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Tom 
Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? If you'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Plotting Claire's downfall? If Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero, this was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross.
platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. And something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. We're coming to the end of this video, and it's been really awesome. Though, I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. It's pretty cool. Oh no, Claire died! Oh jeez! Oh, and she got bits all over. Oh, she got even more bits on her face of herself. Oh, 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 it's gross. Are you okay, Claire? I hope she's okay. Where could Chris be? Do you think he's the one behind all these like spikes and stuff? Whoa! Be careful, Claire. <laughs> she nearly got taken out there. Oh boy, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we do like a mini jump? Oh no, Thomas, you got spiked. I hope you're okay though. We're gonna have to try and carry him across this water. I hope you'll be okay. Where could John be? John is the solution to all of this, obviously. He's like he's like Claire's major psychic. I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try and go across here. I guess then when we go down here, then we've got to try and get John, John no, Thomas! <laughs> I'm coming, Thomas! If we can fit through these spikes, I'm so fat! Oh, come on, Claire, we can do this! Hold it in! <laughs> There we go, awesome. <laughs>
Um, who could this guy be? There's like a flat Thomas? I don't know, is he dead? Are you okay? He seems to be okay. But why is Chris here? I we thought Chris was the villain. It seems not though. The plot thickens, minions! Interesting, what could it be? Minions, comment section below. Why your guesses don't spoil anything if you complete the game. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, minions, I hope you've enjoyed this journey. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh boy, oh boy, this is getting exciting. Oh, look, there are buttons over there. We've got to press those. Then we can maybe find Claire, Chris, and... No, we got Chris here. We need to find Thomas and John and Claire. That's right. And then we got our new little ally here as well. Interesting. Anyway, minions, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to join me now if you've not for some awesome game goodies and definitely check out the Props Post Facebook page for more giveaways, competitions, and just Awesome, awesome updates. Say goodbye, Chris. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.